Inside this box, I have tons of new saltwater fish and creatures for my aquarium. Now we're getting into the good stuff, ladies and gents. All right, so here it is. What is going on, my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish Guy Jack here, back with another video. Inside this box, I have tons of new saltwater fish and creatures for my aquarium. But before we get into this box, I wanna give you guys an update on the brand new Niger Trigger that I got a couple videos back. He's doing so well, so come take a look. Right there is the brand new that we're gonna name Knight. I love that name. You guys commented so many names down below, and that is what I found to be the best name. This guy is so awesome. He's so energetic. He's always swimming back and forth. The guy literally never sits still whatsoever, and honestly, I knew it. I knew it that the only fish that could survive with these bad boys right here would be a trigger fish because of how strong and aggressive they are. And this guy is absolutely stunning. Look at the color on him. Blues, purples, pinks, you name it. They're in that fish right there. He's gliding all around. He's doing so well and so is everybody else. There's Bolt. This tank is so great because of how lively it is. Like just watch this guy. He literally does not sit still. Kyle literally walked in today and was like, what is wrong with this guy? He does not sit still. He was like, there's something wrong with him. But he's just a beast. Look at him. Just cruising, 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 cruising. So everything that I ordered inside that box is going to be going in this tank right here. As you guys all know, I've had this tank set up before. And then I got rid of everything. And I didn't tell you guys, but I set it back up. This thing's been up and running for quite some time now. And it's ready to go for fish. So let's hop right into it. Let's go ahead and get the first bag out of the box. And let's make this thing look beautiful. Now, I was extremely worried about this box because it showed up so late. It was four days freaking late. So I was worried, oh my God, is everything even going to be alive inside here? But I was so worried about this box that I had Kyle come over, go through it all, make sure everything's alive, and then go ahead and repackage everything just so I know that, listen, I'm not unboxing literally a box of all dead fish. So the good news is, is that everything's alive inside here. And you know what? I can't wait to see what's inside because that's like a small tank, but it's gonna be easy to make it look extremely colorful and extremely good. So let's go ahead, cut this bad boy open and get inside. All right, got the old trusty knife. Here we go. You guys are loving the unboxing video. So guess what? Fish Guy Jack is gonna give the people what they wanna see, all right? He's gonna give the people what they want to see. All right, so I got four bags inside this box, but not everything is like amazing. I had some stuff that I just had to get that are essential for the tank, and that's gonna be what I'm gonna show you guys first, which is right here. This right here is an absolute necessity for all saltwater aquariums. These are little tiny snails. I think there's some are, I can't remember the exact ones that I ordered, but one of them's like a, one of them has a little horn that comes way out in the front, and two of them are the same. They are just regular snails. These things are great to have. They eat the algae and actually this one right here buries himself inside the sand and it'll eat all like the I forget what the description said but very essential to have inside of your aquarium all right we're gonna go ahead get these guys in the tank this tank is a nine gallon fluval we finally got that rubber band off come close Kyle come get a close up of the tank I'm gonna go ahead and drop these guys in there so here is the first snail we're gonna go ahead and add him to the aquarium I'm just gonna literally drop him in He's gonna go right down, and there he is. He's sitting there. As you guys can see, he's got like some cool algae on himself, so he kind of looks like he could be like a, you know, part of the rock, but he's gonna be moving, so. We got one more of those to add inside there. We got this guy right here. You guys can see, this is the actual part of the snail right there, inside of the rock. Cool little shell on him. These guys are essential to have in your aquariums. All right, in goes this guy. There you go. Oh yeah, come get a close up of him, Kyle. Look at that. You can see the snail right there. All right, there we go. We got Gary 1 and Gary 2 from SpongeBob. I mean, as you guys all know, we are big SpongeBob fans here. And we have one more little snail to add inside of the aquarium as well. There you guys go. Look at that thing. It's got a little horn poking out of him. So he's going to go around and clean all the glass. And he's going to go inside the sand and eat all that stuff as well. So this guy is freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and get him in the aquarium. All right, here he goes. Just like that. In he goes. All right, so we got three snails inside here. And now we're working our way up to the really good stuff, the cool stuff. So let's head back to the box and get to it. Bag number two. Now we're getting into the good stuff, ladies and gents. So, you know, you got to get those little guys in there because they're essential for the tank. But right here we have a clownfish right here. Not just any clownfish, but a rare one. Take a look at this clown right here. Now this is a designer clown. Now my goal is to get eventually a lot more of these because we have a 10 gallon tank. So it's not going to take too many of these guys to make it look full, but that fish right there is absolutely stunning. The white, the orange, the black, the dots on them. I mean, a super cool, I think you would call it a morph of a clownfish. It's not like your basic clown. This one is rare i would say it is a rare clownfish right here and he is absolutely 
freaking beautiful. All right, we got this guy all done acclimating. He's ready to go inside of the tank, but I want you guys to get another good look at him because this fish is stunning. That fish is stunning. Look at that guy. Look at that thing right there. Such an awesome, awesome fish. I'm gonna go ahead, put him back in there. Let's bring him over to the tank and let's get him inside. All right, here he goes. In he goes into the aquarium. Look at that little dude right there. That guy is so freaking cool. He's the first clown to be added into the aquarium. Now, if you guys are excited, this is gonna be my first reef tank that I've ever had on the aquarium. I wanna go out, catch some crabs catch some other cool little creatures and just make this a super cool reef tank. I think going with a smaller tank is better because it's easier to fill up. You can put anemones, corals, whatever you want on these rocks and it, you don't have to buy so many of them to make the tank look full. This is gonna fill up quick and it's gonna look so good. Here we go, bag number three. Take a look at this right here. Now this is a big bag filled with a lot of air and for a reason, this is a sponge right here. These things cannot touch air. If they touch air, they are toast. So you gotta be really careful with these guys and not let these guys touch the air. You can put this water straight into your aquarium, but this is a big sponge. It's gonna take up a lot of that rock and I think it's gonna look super damn good in there. So let's get inside the tank. All right, we removed some water from the tank. So now we're good to go. We're back in biz. We're gonna dump this bag out because we can't let this guy touch the air. Number one thing, don't let Buddy touch the air. I think I'm gonna have to put my hand inside. He is out. Now I think I'm gonna put him on this side of the tank right here. Right there, look at that. That looks so good because eventually I think I'm either gonna get some anemones or some corals to put all on the white rock. So like all around there, I'm gonna put anemones and possibly corals. I gotta talk to the guys at the shop to see what can go with what, but I think that looks really damn good. And I have something else inside there that's gonna add some color to this as well. All right, here we go. Take a look at this right here. This is another sort of sponge. As you guys can see, I'm a big orange guy, all right? These ones are just like, they're branches. So they're sponges, but they're branches. And they have these in yellow, orange, red, you name it. They have some in blue. I got the smallest ones that they offered, but these things are super cool. And we gotta find, there, there are actually three different ones, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna stick these all across the tank. It's gonna look so good. All right, I think there's either three. Yeah, there's three in there, three separate ones. So let's go ahead, grab this first one, pull him out, find a nice little spot for him. I think this first one I'm gonna put right in this hole over here, just like that. So we got one there, got my second one here, bury him in the ground a little bit, just like that. And then we got one more little guy right here, just a single, just a single twig. All right, that one I'm gonna put right there. Heck yeah, we got a lot of orange inside the aquarium now, ladies and gents. It is looking good. We got a lot more to do to it, a lot more color to add to it, a lot more fish to add to it. And I've been seeing these comments, please, 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 please do a reef tank. And here it is guys, this is gonna be the reef tank on the aquarium where we're gonna get some awesome stuff. I wanna go out, catch some stuff for it, put it inside here, but I think we're off to a really, really good start. All right, so here it is. Here's what it looks like. We got the big sponge there. We got a sponge in the back there, sponge there, sponge there. We got a snail there. We got a snail there. We got a snail on the ground and we got a clown fish. How about that for you guys? I think this is looking really, really good. And one of my favorite parts of this tank is how it can change colors literally so much. Look at that. You can do whatever you want. So at night, I can have this thing looking so damn good. But guys, leave me some comments, suggestions down below. What do you guys think we should name this guy? And what else should we add to this aquarium? Now, would it really be a Fish Guy Jack video without an epic feeding? We're gonna go feed the big fish in the back, so I'll see you guys out there. All right, we made it outside. Like I said earlier, can a Fish Guy Jack video really be completed without a feeding? And the answer is no, never. Two answers, actually. All the above, no and never. Take a look at these big boys. This, this one right here, that's my favorite one right there. That guy is such a beauty. Look at these guys grubbing up. These are getting so dang big, it's not even funny. Watch the tarpon, watch that. Oh, he just guzzed those. So all these guys have tons of food in here. And in the summer months, these fish absolutely thrive. They love that warm water. Everything is good inside here and you can't complain. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Don't forget, leave me down some suggestions down below. What fish, what corals, what anemones, what do you wanna see go inside of that aquarium? I'm super excited for it. It's a change of pace for the channel. And don't worry, we're still gonna be having all those predators. We're still gonna be going out, doing some crazy stuff. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I've got the shout outs of the day. Here we go from the YouTube, shout out to Fernando Smooth. From the Instagram, shout out to Patton6006. And from the Fish Guy Shop, shout out to Daniel, order number 2260. Guys, don't forget, every single item sold removes trash from the ocean. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.